All right, okay. so as a lifelong Hawks fan, I know for a fact that the Hawks always do some you know what when it comes to when it's really, really important. Tonight right. is one of those nights. Now, on the flip side of that, I also know as an Atlantan, there is a term that we use when people shoot the ball a whole lot called wheeling. They got two wheelers in the backcourt, <laughs> Dante Murray and Trey Young. So that means that I'm going with the over for the Hawks, over 110 tonight, because those guys will be outside wheeling. You better believe it. We can take it to the numbers. The Hawks are the eighth worst team when it comes to total passes. They're the seventh worst team when it comes to secondary assists, but they're the 16th team when it comes to total assists. What that tells me is that they're a driving dish team and that the ball-dominant portion of their team is going, to, is going to be dominant again tonight. But here we go. Here's my research. Let's go to the, to the Duke's bookshelf of knowledge. I'm going <laughs> to the book of Anthony Edwards. Chapter 1 says, seven twins means the shot is green. Now, what's the <laughs> thing? He comes down the court on the worst shooting game of the playoffs that he's had, gives Aaron Gordon – Seven in-between dribbles, crossover, shot, cash money for the 9-9-2000, right? In his worst shooting game, he was colder than a polar bear's toenails. So I thought you were from Philly because with all this wee stuff, it sounds like you're from France because I don't think like that. I see the Celtics and I see a team that went 23-7 and seven against the Western Conference this year. I see a team that beat the snot out of them when they played in March after they got their new additions of Gafford and P.J. Washington, they gave him a 30 ball. The only thing I wish he would have done a little bit more of is just say, yeah, LeBron gave me the job. Yeah, he's my homeboy. Yeah, we had a podcast. We're going to do it my way, me and LeBron's way. Just just be all out in front with it. Of course, he goes out and denies that LeBron had any type of uh, 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 involvement in the decision being made. But anybody with two eyes and two ears knows that – it was absolutely LeBron James. Who else? What other podcaster with no experience gets put into the premier franchise in any sport? Just even look at the quote from Kennedy Carter. All she does is shoot threes, right? You know who? You know that reminds me of. And I'm not making this a really like apples to apples comparison. But when Steph Curry came to the league, it was Monte Ellis was the guy, and it was all he does is shoot threes. He wasn't ready. He was too small, and all he did was just kept shooting them threes until he became the all-time leader three-point shooter in the NBA. And before he won that championship, you had to go back to like Isaiah Thomas before you saw a lead point guard be the focal point of a championship NBA squad. Man, same question for me. I'm going to fill in the blank with postponed. That's what this draft <laughs> should be. You need to wait till next year. First of all, the Hawks got the number one pick in the least number one picky draft in the history of the NBA. Oh, it's just on par for the Hawks. That's all it is. I mean, you got a guy who was just in Atlanta at Overtime Elite and Sar, who does not want to come to the Hawks and won't even come. They say you want to be the number one pick. He, he basically said, yeah, if it ain't the Hawks. Like, and guess what? He, he would rather go to the Wizards instead of the Hawks. I mean, it's not like he's going to the Celtics. It ain't like he's going to the Lakers. That man said anywhere but Atlanta.